perfect summer sneaker? What is the perfect summer sneaker? I want to say a white Air Force One, but that's not true because as soon as it gets dirty, you're kind of fucked for the rest of the summer. So the perfect summer sneaker would be a construction Timberland. You can wear it in the rain. You can wear it as a weapon. It makes you taller, so you can holler at women who are taller than you or men who are taller than you. And also, you know, like it works out your thighs because you're lifting these heavy boots when you're getting on the train. So, you know, your, your legs start looking better. Do you have any favorite bands, guitar music bands? What? Do I have any favorite <laughs> guitar music bands? Yo, let me tell you something. I do have some, I have some favorite guitar music bands. Um, shameless plug. Um, shout out my guy Ezra Koenig, you know what I'm saying? Vampire Weekend, you know what I'm saying? Very successful band. Multiple Grammy winners, you know what I'm saying? Father Bride is out now, go cop that. You know what I'm saying? That's number one, that's my guy. Fuck with Interpol a little bit. Shout out to the Circle Jerks, you know what I'm saying? Gotta fuck with the classics. Bad Brains. What do you call it? What, what's the name of the band with Shorty with a... Oh, Fleetwood Mac. I was gonna say Shorty that did so much coke and fucked up her nose. Yo, they got some joints. Some of that shit slaps, bro. What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Um, is it Dreams? It's called Dreams, right? Yeah, that shit slaps, bro. Dreams take two. Yo. Like oh, song. man. Yo, that so shit good. goes hard, bro. That's like white people bachata music, bro. That shit is soulful, nigga. Like, that shit make you sad. and make you think about your ex-girlfriend from, like, for high school and shit. That deaded you for the nigga that played football and shit. Even though you was made the football team, but you quit because you was a wee head. So, you know what I mean? That shit makes me sad. That shit makes sound so deeply specific. personal. <laughs> yeah, it's because it is. This is a fun and non-charge catching way to get revenge on someone who took thousands of dollars from you and is a chronic cheater. Something kind of pedestrian, like removing the ball stems on all their tires. Or does one simply live their best life? Hmm. Who will win in a fight? 50 gorillas or 10 elephants? 50 gorillas or 10 elephants. Damn. What are we more upset about here? The money or the cheating? You can't get back at a cheater for cheating because they're gonna cheat regardless. Yo, I saw this shit on Live Leak of like an elephant in Thailand that went straight hammer at a circus. It started just stomping motherfuckers out. Yo, and it yo it turned one dude into a straight fucking like Lay's original flavor potato chip dog. Like I'm I'm not fucking with no elephants, bro. You be the money, however, you have to rectify the money situation, and. Not to be spicy, anything over $200 is a killable offense in the Bronx. Maybe you just eat it. Maybe you just live your best life and you wait for karma to... People think karma works like you do something bad, something bad happens to you, but that's only how it works on Instagram. They got mad sharp tusks and shit, them ears probably mad heavy and shit, they just flap you with their ears. Nah, nah. What was it, zebras? Nah, gorillas. Gorillas? Nah. Gorillas are probably too. Gorillas, 50 gorillas, 50 gorillas, 10 elephants. Damn. Are gorillas even built like that? Are gorillas pussy? Would you rather the Yankees never win another championship or you never eat another filet of fish? <laughs> what Mets fan came up with that question? <laughs> the two are mutually exclusive. Okay, I will be on the next Yankee championship parade this year eating a filet of fish. The two have nothing to do with each other. Like, I don't know. Like, I gotta watch more nature, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, elephants, I know elephants are not pussy. Because they'll just be sitting there grazing and shit. It'll be mad lions just chilling there. Like, yo, I could eat you, nigga. But they're like, oh, get the fuck out of here. You ain't gonna eat me. They about to put my pattern on some Jordans. They're gonna suck my dick. <coughs> elephants certified not pussy. How do you feel about Hasan Minaj and see the gods saying they could beat you in Maryland 2 and 2? <laughs> <laughs> How do I feel about my guy Hasim and. Charlemagne say they could beat us in basketball? Apparently. I didn't know. Well, you know, since I went to school for basketball and I take it very seriously because I was once Division One, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> I'm the most unathletic person ever. I get winded playing NBA 2K. As an ambassador in ass-eating movement, do you hold Janae Aiko responsible for bringing ass-eating to the mainstream American culture? Why or why not? Uh, why would I even play foot basketball? Like, oh, I'm going to tear my ACL playing against Charlemagne? Huh? Does that sound like a good time to you? Does anyone want to see Charlamagne play at basketball? Have you ever seen Charlamagne play basketball? Why no one's like, yo, play against, like, um, who's the car, karaoke and car guy? James Corden. I'll drop 50 on James Corden. Is that his name? Hold on, wait. James Corden. How tall is he? That one was right. James Corden. He's 5'8". I'll drop 50 on James Corden. So listen, man. I know Janae got that very uh, quotable line, you eat this booty like groceries. But, um... When we talk about eating ass, um, I feel like really like I'm like the Michael Jordan 
Fuck Michael Jordan. I'm the Island Iverson of eating ass. What's the first idea from the podcast that you're going to make into a reality? Mega church. Oh. Mega church. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, was there options? No, no. That was what somebody said. <laughs> That's one of the one they mentioned. <laughs> Listen, that mega church is happening. I just can't wait for y'all to be in it after I already explained to you that it's a scam and a fraud. And y'all still going to be giving money. But it'll be a nice mega church because the problem with church is now, what is it? Sunday, 9 a.m. Come on, you're asking for too much. My mega church, sliding schedule, if there's a big NFL game, no church that day. How about that? How about you could just download my podcast, MP3, and that's the word of the day. Like, listen, I'm not trying to harsh you and be like, you can't sleep with this person, you can't do that. As long as you donate your money via Square Cash to dollar sign Dejas H. Fuego, pastor in charge. We're building a nice new church and synagogue slash uh, Muslim place over at Hudson Yards. And you know, all of you gotta come through. My seventh day event is you don't even have to wait for the seventh day. Y'all can come on the third or the fifth. Pay extra, do what you want. Any religion, all religions, are, it's all inclusionary. It's all inclusionary. We don't see race, we don't see uh, creed. Like anyone could come through. You could bring your kids if you want them. You could bring kids that you don't even know. We'll circumcise anybody. Any, we'll circumcise anything. If you got table legs that are too high, we'll cut them shits down. Brisk? Yo, if you want me to dunk your baby OD hard like Orthodox Jewish people, is it, no, the, ortho, the Greek Orthodox, yeah. I'll dunk your baby into Chick-fil-A sauce, whatever you want, I just want you in my church. It's gonna be great. We teach kids uh, 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 Bible stories, veggie tales. If you don't wanna be vaccinated, we do va vaccinations with essential oils. If you like, you know, standing around all day, you can go join the J-dubs. I'll print up some brochures, you go stand in the Port Authority. Not my business while you're just standing there for eight hours, but you know, God's watching you. Would you, should we have uh, the Trinity? Y'all big on that? Y'all want that? It's the first group search church. How do we feel? We want the Trinity, all in favor say yes, cause that's cool to do this, that whole thing. All right, we uh, we letting just anyone in? Who, we gotta pick one specific group of people and we can't let them in. Sorry Italians. <laughs>